What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be doing some fast and easy KDP niche research. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now within this video we are going to be some doing some niche research. I've done a couple of videos like this in the past just by using Amazon. I'll link one of them right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. They're these two videos. This one is 33 niches that we found, and with this one, we found 29 niches. So in this video, we're also going to see how many niches, or coloring book niches, we can find within 10 minutes. And instead of using Amazon, we're going to use Creative Fabrica. Now, this video has already gone on for a minute so far, so let's just go ahead dive in and see how many niches we can find. Remember, doing this is a brainstorm session. So we just want to find as many niches as we can. Then once we have a huge, huge list, we can then see if there's demand and see if they're profitable niches over on Amazon. So right from here, you want to come on to Creative Fabrica. And from here, we want to go to Graphics up the top. And then right here, we have Coloring Books for Adults and Coloring Books for Kids. I prefer colouring books for kids because they're a lot more simpler to create and I just have a lot more fun creating them. Now, looking at here, we have 4,922 results. Now, what we want to do is just find the niches. We're not interested in the colouring pages. We want to find the niches. So now we're just going to brainstorm, get a little notepad and just see how many niches we can find. So, right off the bat, dinosaur. We can see that, so let's type in dinosaur. Then we have more dinosaurs here. Easter. So, Easter's literally just around the corner, so maybe not a good niche, but we're going to put that anyway. And then right here, we have unicorns. So these are all the pretty basic niches that most people know about. So we're just going to keep looking, going through this first page. We then have mermaids. So mermaids, a niche. Mermaid. Then we have cute animals. So let's just put animals again. In fact, let's put cute at the beginning. Cute, I spelt that wrong. So there we go, cute animals back to there. Then we have trucks, vehicles, things like that. So let's put vehicles, trucks, cars, because all them are niches. Then right here we have cat, so another niche. So right off the bat, we've already got quite a few, but we want to keep going through this page. So more Easter, more unicorns, monster truck, that's another niche. So let's do that, monster trucks. And then let's keep scrolling more Easter, airplane, so airplane colouring book for kids, that could work. I bet there's people actually looking for that. So airplanes, more trucks, hedgehog, hedgehog colouring book, so hedgehog, there we go. And let's have a look at the rest, more mermaids, cute, nope, train, so train's another niche. Oh, where'd that go? <laughs> there we go. So trains, then we have panda, a panda colouring book. So panda, then we also have, so panda, vehicles, butterflies. So let's type in butterfly. Oh, doing that again, so there we go. But, or fly. There we go. And now that's the first page. So I'll keep going through all of these pages to find all of those niches. But we're doing this on the most popular. Now, most of the time, what I like to do is change that to latest. This way, you're going to get the latest, the latest, nope, the latest graphics which have been added here on Creative Fabrica. So right here, we have space, space planets. So we could do all the different planets, but I don't think that would work. So let's just do space. There we go. So what are we looking for? For time, we're at five minutes. 
didn't start till two minutes in, so we've been going for three minutes. So let's keep going. More cats. Spring, a spring colouring book. So let's do that. That could work. Spring. Then we have sea. So that would be like sea, ocean. So sea, ocean. So what's associated with the ocean? The beach. So let's put beach as well. Now let's keep scrolling through. We have sea animals as well. So that could fall under the beach, the sea, the ocean. Then if we keep scrolling, more cats. Pig, a pig colouring book. So I bet there's a lot of people actually searching for that. So let's put pig. Then we have rat, a rat colouring book. That could work. And I bet there are people searching that. So let's put rat. Then we have insects. Panda, we already got. A beagle, more butterfly, koala, squirrel. These are all just more niches. So let's try a squirrel. Squirrel, koala. And we can do this with pretty much all animals. Every animal is a niche in itself. So remember that as well. Now let's go on to the page two. Have a look through here. And then I'm going to show you something else which you can also do. So let's scroll through here. We have moon, a moon colouring book. It falls under space, so I'm not going to use that. What's happened there? There we go. Astronaut, an astronaut colouring book. Kind of falls under space, so I'm going to leave that. The more unicorns, moon, mermaids, um, more animals. We have loads of different animals that we could look through. Right here, cowboy, a cowboy colouring book. I bet there's people searching for that so let's put cowboy now now we've been through this second page that uh, there is some more cool stuff that you can do so when you find a seller a creator a designer that you like you can go through to their page so let's click open that go to here just give that a second there we go and now we can actually see all the other stuff that they're selling so right off the bat, we have a dot grid notebook, sloth. So a sloth colouring book, sloth. So they don't actually have a lot of colouring pages. So we're going to go off of that. Let's go back to, let's go to most popular again. Give that a second. And now let's go through to some of these. So we have this daydreamer. Let's take a look over here. Now remember, we're just brainstorming ideas to find a bunch of niches. They might not be profit. I can't even talk. They might not even be profitable, but this is the brainstorming research phase. So we need to do this because if we don't find the bunch of niches, we then can't do more research to see if they're profitable. And I'll show you how to find if they're profitable in a minute. Now, right off the bat, there's a lot more stuff here. So let's go, out, go ahead and take a look. So there's a lot of coloring. No, there's a lot of cowboy coloring pages. So if we were to create a cowboy coloring book, we could use quite a lot of these images. Now, a mill, a mill coloring book. I can't see that working, but monster. So monster coloring book monster let's type that one down then we have more cats penguins a penguin coloring book did we type that down i don't think we did so let's put that in penguin and then we could go on to the second page and keep going through well in fact they don't have a second page but we can just keep doing this over and over again trying to find more and more niches because once you found the niche or the niche, no, once you've filled out a huge list of niches, it just makes things so much easier. So let's take a look on here. So right off the bat, we're getting more space stuff. Alphabet, so an alphabet coloring book, that could work. So let's do alphabet, there we go. And then let's keep scrolling through, more alphabet number, a number coloring book, that could work. So let's do that, number. Now, we're almost at 10 minutes. We didn't start properly for two minutes, so we have an extra couple of minutes left. So let's keep going through. Watermelon. I see a watermelon there. So maybe a watermelon coloring book. There we go. I think we've already got 
quite a lot of niches which we can go and check out but let's just have one more look. Let's go through to this trend color and take a look there. Now, if you do like a designer, what you can do is follow them just here. We can see that I'm actually already following this designer. Why would you want to do that? Well, because you have your own personal product feed. Now, remember, you do need an account to actually do this. So if you haven't got account, then go through and just sign up for a free one. But from here, you would go to my account, personal product feed just let that load up for a second da, 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 almost there there we go and from here if we scroll down we can see new products from designers that I follow and if we click on here we're going to get a personal product feed from all the people that you have followed and in mine you can see there's a there's some pretty good graphics but again Go ahead and give that a go. Anyway, let's take a look at this designer. So right off the bat, turtle, a turtle coloring book. That could work. So let's write that down. Woodland, woodland animals, animals. There we go. So let's do a few more. Squirrel, llama. So let's do a llama, llama coloring book. Oh, there we go. Give that a little space and that, there we go. So that's been around 10 minutes. Let's actually see how many niches we've got. And then I'll speak a little bit more about finding the profitable keywords within these niches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20, where was we at beach? 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we found 35 coloring book niches in 10 minutes. So as you can see, niche research really doesn't have to be that hard it's been 10 minutes and we found 35 niches 35 so the niche research is actually the easy part and now the boring part is actually going through all of these niches that we found to find those profitable keywords now how do we do that well we do that with the spt chrome extension and AMS Suggestion Expander. So let's take one of these niches. Let's take, let's scroll up to the top, Ocean. So let's do this, Ocean Coloring Book. And from here, we can actually see that there's a lot, a lot of different keywords just in the Ocean Coloring Book niche alone. And it's going to be the same for practically all of these niches just here. So now what we want to do is go through every single one of these keywords and then find the profitable ones. So let's click on one of these. So Ocean Coloring Book for kids ages four to eight. Now I'd let that do its thing. I'll let the SPT Chrome extension do its thing as well and see what the score is. Now for Ocean Coloring Book for Kids ages 4 to 8, we can see that there's only 651 results. So this could be a great keyword to use for my Ocean Coloring Book. Now let's just give this a second to load up and see what that score is. And bam, there we go. So the niche score for Ocean Coloring Book for Kids ages 4 to 8 is 42. So this could be potentially an okay niche. The number of results, pretty low. The average BSR looks pretty good. And the average reviews looks pretty good as well. And if we scroll through, we can actually take a look to see what we would be competing with. But if we look at these BSRs, they all look pretty good. So that's how you'd find the profitable keywords within every single niche which we found. It just takes a little bit of time. And if we do that again, let's take away that bit just there. We can see just with the ocean coloring book, there's lots of different keywords that we check. And we do that with every single niche here. So that's some fast and easy KDP niche research. We found 35 niches within 10 minutes, which 
was pretty crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.